Sega. Rome 2 is epic in scale. It's a world-spanning, world-conquering game. To create that grandeur and that epic sense of scale, we need to create audio that really supports that. So the prologue in Rome 2 is a kind of contained, um, narrative-driven mini-campaign that leads the player into the full campaign game. Soldiers of Rome, we have travelled far together, down a path none of our choosing. So we have Mark Strong playing the part of Silanus, who's the kind of protagonist in the prologue. Mark Strong is a great actor. He's, um, he's worked in numerous films, kick um, Sherlock Holmes. Mark is perfect for the role. He's got power and gravitas. You can just feel the strength in his voice when he delivers a line. Fate and the cruelty of man compelled each of us to draw our weapons, stand back to back, and defend our lands against the common foe. He kind of starts off as a mid-rank Roman commander. And as the prologue progresses, he, um, he sort of rises up in rank to eventually become a proconsul. He's a very accomplished military commander, the kind of guy you would follow into battle. Although interesting in the, in the game, the more successful he becomes and the more power he accrues, uh, he seems to fulfill that old um, saying that uh, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. It is clear that evil left unchecked will always find Rome. It's very important you understand the character you're playing in order to give the game some life. We shall forge our destiny together! If you're trying to find a way to give him gravitas and make him believable, you've got to make the lines sound like somebody who you would follow into battle. We did not seek this war. It is our homes at birth. So I've given him a kind of gravelly strength. He definitely draws the player into the game right from the start. Um, he sort of builds up his character really well. Um, and just kind of the weight and, and, and command in his voice works really well. My work this morning, there's been a lot of rallying call to battle. So as far as I'm concerned, Romans spend most of their time fighting, it seems to me. For Rome! Music is incredibly important in Rome too because it, it sets the tone for the historical backdrop and it really draws the player into the atmosphere of the ancient world. It helps deliver the emotion in the game. It helps deliver the grandeur and the spectacle. And it helps us to create an identification with a particular culture. Largely, the inspiration comes from the visuals and the game itself. It's usually a case of sitting down and playing the game, looking at still shots. Um, prototype artwork. That's probably the biggest challenge, actually working out what do we make Rome sound like? What do we make Romans sound like? They must be punished! And working out that musical formula or style. We've recorded the music live um, with the Slovak National Symphony Orchestra. We'd worked with them previously and, you know, I know the setup and, and the sound there, so you know, it was a simple decision, really. The conductor was a guy called Jeff Atmajan. He'd got extensive recording experience on many feature films. He's really very good at communicating with the orchestra and shaping the phrasing that we're working on and rhythms so that we basically get what we really want and the music sounds as good as it can. When you record live musicians, you get the human emotion poured into the music. You get extra detail, depth, and texture that's just not possible to do with electronic renditions. The sound effects in Rome 2 really immerse the player in any given environment they're in at the time. So, you know, whether that's a great sweeping battle with thousands of troops or on the campaign map itself. I think believability is probably the main reason uh, that we need to have good sound effects. 
because you know you want people to make it feel like they're a general commanding an army uh, as opposed to someone playing a game. This will never end. We recorded a lot of the assets ourselves here, uh, as well as in the field, uh, as well as at Shepparton Studios. And so we've recorded tens of thousands of individual assets that have been recorded from scratch. So that really does make the battlefield come alive when you can zoom into two guys fighting it out and hear exactly how you know, we think it should sound in that era. Some of those guys really suffered for their art. We had them standing around in full suits of Roman armor being struck with blunt instruments to kind of replicate the sound of metal on metal in here in battle. Yeah. Those, uh, those guys really worked hard for us. So the metal shield was uh, a car door impact plastic bottle being hit, foley, body thumps, you know, like a, a big body hit. Uh, we used uh, a giant metal spatula for sword ring outs. We also created uh, a new sort of faux Roman guy, which was a punching bag with, with helmets, and uh, we you know, bashed it with you know, our fists and all that sort of stuff. It's not always what you expect it to be. sound effects and audio for Rome 2 are utterly spectacular. We've got this incredible orchestral soundtrack. Um, we've got this incredibly detailed, rich soundscape. You just have to hear it to believe it. Take it from me, you're going to need some bigger speakers. We who are seen as gods have the farthest to fall. For have we not built the impossible? And for what? To share my bed with a Roman. Our alliance was born of necessity, not love. To rule as Isis, I would suckle the wolf. They must be But no punished. matter how much I fed the beast, it could not be sated. I betrayed my lover, brought ruin on my brother, murdered my sister. Any mother would have done the same. And still they will hunt you down, my son. The last of the Pharaoh. 